next step here is now you're going to go out and meet with investors. You got your pitch book done, you've got a list of people, and now you're going to start contacting investors and you're going to meet with them. And you're going to talk about your game plan. You're going to have your, your pitch book with you. And your goal here when you get in these meetings is you're not selling them anything. No, you're not selling anything. You're just trying to get their interest in your game plan. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get them excited. You're trying to get them excited about the opportunity to make money with your strategy. And typically your strategy is really changing the world. You're, you're doing something unique. And, and you're trying to get in the, uh, them excited about what you're doing. And so I'm going to talk about three ways for you to conduct your investor meetings, right? And so the first one is personal meeting. I think that's the obvious one, right? Personal meeting. I want you to meet him for a drink, coffee. I want you, if you want to have lunch, dinner, whatever. Um, I mean, think about where you meet people right now for your business. I don't know if you if you uh, uh, watched or listened to the interview we did with Carlos Vaz. Uh, he's a master at, at uh, these meetings. Uh, he's got a pitch book uh, that he talks about, and he goes to a place called Maximo's Restaurant. I think this is the first. We did two interviews with him. So I'd recommend, if you haven't listened to it, I recommend you listen to that. And he goes to the Maximo's restaurant, and, and he goes there not three times a week. He might go there three times a day, and he meets people and talks about his plan. And if you think about personal meetings, it really is, um, what's the word, intimate way to talk to people. Because uh, you're right there face-to-face, -face, you're eyeball-to-eyeball. -eyeball. You know, they can see your emotions, you can see their emotions. Um, and, and when you find a great deal... And you're, I mean, when, you find a, uh, when you're talking about your investment strategy and you're excited about it and you're passionate about it, you know, it comes across. That excitement comes across. And they see your excitement. They see your excitement. And they get a little bit more excited just because you're excited. And so I think that personal meetings are the number one way to get together and meet and talk about your pitch book. But in some cases, you're going to have a phone meeting. I better write better. I'm such a sloppy writer. You're going to have a phone meeting. I mean, some of these prospects, some of these uh, people you know might be 1,000 miles away. So it's hard to get uh, together in person. So what you're going to do is you're going to send them an email, you're going to attach your pitch book, and you're going to set up a call meeting. You're going to set up a call meeting to kind of go through your pitch book. And when you're on that call with them, just a just, just tip, tip here, I really want you to focus on letting those, those emotions, that passion that you have that would have came across more clearly in the personal meeting that they come across on the phone. I want them to get excited about what you're doing. Okay. And then another great way for meetings are group meetings. And so what you're going to do in these, uh, some of the big syndicators do this, uh, that really got started. They put together these events and they get people to show up. I mean, it might be a webinar like we're having here. It could be a teleseminar. A lot of them do live events. They put on hey, how to make money in real estate investing and get people to show up. And your goal is to get those guys to show up and just talk about your business plan. You know, talk about your business plan. And it, and it really is. This is a great way for you to leverage your, uh, your time and leverage yourself. And so during these meetings that you have and you're talking about your pitch book, your game plan, you're talking about the opportunity. That's all you're talking about is the opportunity to make Money. You're not talking. You're not trying to sell them anything. You're talking about the opportunity to make money. You're, you're you're trying to get their interest. I mean, that's really the end game here. Is you're trying to add people to your list, your database, who are interested in your strategy, who you think might fit your game plan.